Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Bucky O'Hare from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Game is based on the comic book as well as the cartoon of the same name. Matter of fact, I think people know more about the game these days than anything else, thanks to the internet. And given that it's made by Konami, it's a pretty interesting game. It's also a pretty challenging game. It's not totally unfair. You do have infinite continues, and even your passwords save your power extensions. I'll get into that later. But it's not as unfair as everyone makes it out to be. At least the way I see it. And of course, you're going to have a lot of side-scrolling fun here, but it is not easy by any means. It's not the easiest game in the world. Let's go ahead and press start on game start, and we'll get the story. Bucky O'Hare and his crew... Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, and Willy fight to save the Anniverse from the Toad Menace. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the Righteous was attacked. Attacked is spelled wrong. The Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Kidnapped is also spelled wrong. Blinky is a captive on the green planet. Deadeye is sent to the red planet. Jenny is held at the blue planet. Willy is held on the yellow planet. Ha <laughs> ha! Bucky O'Hare, your friends are mine. You are next. I never watched a cartoon, so I don't even know what the Air Marshal sounds like. Air Marshal, by the way, is the main antagonist of the series, especially the cartoon. Bucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible Toads. And from here, we get to stay select. We have the green planet, the red planet, the yellow planet, and the blue planet that were all mentioned in the introductory cutscene. The game automatically has the green planet highlighted when you start the game. And we're going to start with that because apparently the game seems to know best. Interestingly enough. Green Planet Act 1. Every section of the level is a act. So this is all Act 1. When we transition to the next area, it's Act 2, then Act 3, etc. We got Bucky O'Hare. You can jump with A, shoot with B, left and right, let's just shoot around not shoot around, but move around. Down, let's crouch. And Bucky O'Hare is the only character in the game who can aim upwards. And you can shoot upwards, too. If you hold B, you'll charge up your power meter. What it does is different for each character. For Bucky, it's a high jump. But it doesn't seem that high just yet. We will extend our power meter as time goes on. Also, Toads, you shoot them. And that thing up there is a 1-up. Grab it for a 1-up. Besides picking up those 1-up icons, you can also get 10,000 points to get a 1-up too. And you're going to do, be doing that frequently because the game seems to be generous with the point-based 1-ups, as far as I know. And you do want to get them. One of the best things that you can do in this game is not die because that means you, could, you can get a lot of 1-ups for later. Now, that little icon there with the green core, that gives us 3,000 points. I want to pick that up. And here, over there, that little heart with the L on it, that's your life extension. We also got points for that, which means we got the 10,000, which means the extra life. But the main point of that thing, getting that thing is to increase our life meter. You can increase your maximum health two times before you reach your maximum. And you lose all your health extensions when you run out of lives and you have to continue. And why am I doing that? I shouldn't be doing that. Because I can shoot the Hornets for more points. You can shoot the Hornets' nest ahead of time as you go up. While also watching out for those spiders with the 8-way explosive attack. But if you can get close to them, like so, you can shoot the Hornets for extra points. Do, you, do I recommend doing this? Absolutely. Especially if you go too far down and make them all respawn. There are also worms that 
climb up and down very slowly. They're pretty easy to get rid of. Had to use the power up jump there, but that's all right. Thankfully, when you destroy the hornets, the nest seems to not spawn them anymore, so they just have the one salvo and that's it. And yes, I did duck that. Otherwise, I would have taken damage from that explosive shot from the spider. Thanks for asking. So yeah, Act 2, you're basically just jumping from platform to platform, going up a tree. Dark Green Toad, he will shoot at you. Make sure he turns away before you fire back at him. Also, those two platforms that uh, fell down, they're a little brighter than some of the other platforms, but you can barely notice. Thankfully, you can figure out which ones do what just by trial and error. And that's a P icon. That little spinning circle with the P on it. You want to pick those up because those increase your power meter. Now, unlike the life extensions, the power extensions not only stay with you when you continue, when you use a continue, but they are also saving your password. So if you have to put the game down for whatever reason, have to turn the power off or reset, and you have a current password, you can use that and you don't have to worry about picking up power extensions for your character. There's a main difference between the life extension and the power extensions. The life extensions, well, ev all the characters, as you'll soon learn, all share the same life bar. But for the power extensions, they do not. You have to increase the power meter individually for each character. And for these things, you want to jump to them when they start moving to the right. And these things are like kind of like pulley or... They're like kind of balanced platforms. If you're on one for too long, they will both break and you'll fall into the water below. The water is instant death regardless of where it is, so be careful. And if you walk off to the right edge of this platform, you can grab that. I believe that's an extra life. Now, you don't necessarily have to do the power-up jump that I just did. You can just leap to this, this platform and you can land on it safely. Now here... Just don't move. I mean, do move if you have to a little bit. But I'm not going for that points icon because that's a little risky, even for me. I'm not going to grab that. Not all money is good money in this case. And I could have like got got it before the fish got me, but I'm not counting on that to really work. And I nearly got zapped by that toad there. Walk off the edge of this platform. Shoot down the fish. Then charge up your jump. You got the one up. The toad will respawn, but that's okay. Got seven lives and we haven't died so far. Now, next part, Act 4, is a waterfall. There are some things you can pick up while you're down there. Going down. This is that life extension I picked up, but you don't necessarily need to get everything unless you really know where everything is. It takes a lot of trial and error and a lot of memorization to get everything there, but if you can do that, so be it. You don't necessarily need to collect anything there. And for Act 5, we got these things that are shooting down lasers and these little shots out of their mouths. You want to make sure that they're done shooting before you jump because you will be stun locked if you get hit in midair. And if you're right above a bottomless pit, you're losing a life. You're not recovering from that. There's a life extension in case we need it. And I do want to get the power up. The, uh, the power extension. Ow. Before I go all the way to the right. Now we got everything for Bucky. We don't need to pick up any more power extensions with him anymore. And here's the first boss. You want to get up close to him because if that rock hits you before it hits the ground, it's instant death. Also, I forgot that tackle was instant death. That is apparently instant death too. That was interesting. You want to make sure to jump over him and shoot him as he charges and tries to hit the wall. So when he's trying to run into the wall, that's when you shoot at him. You will probably take damage, quite a bit of damage from the debris that comes not only from the rock, but also from the ceiling whenever he hits the wall. But, you don't take a lot of damage from a lot of things in this game. There are some things that do quite a bit of damage, like a third of a fully extended health bar. But those are, like, less common than 
anything that doesn't. And after you do enough damage to this guy, you'll beat the boss. You'll get 5,000 points that you can really use to get to another 1-up. And you'll refill your life. When you beat the green planet, you'll get this guy. You'll get Blinky. Thank you, Captain. I've rescued a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. Remember that for later. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare, allowing you to fly. You will need to pick up power extensions with Blinky in order to make really good use of it, though. And we have a password, 6NT8J. Thankfully, I've managed to get quite a few things that I needed to get. Got Bucky all powered up there. And we are automatically highlighting the red planet. We could go to the other two planets, but again, the game seems to know best. Red planet, act one. Do not step in the lava. It is instant death. The rocks are going in and out like the potobos. Do not do a lot of damage, but... I will still avoid them. And watch out for the volcanoes in the background. If you see them erupt, move back. That's all you need to do to avoid the debris that rains down. Like so. Now on this platform, just stay here. You'll avoid the debris entirely. Yes, antivirus, I know. Thanks for doing that anyway. And now we are on Act 2. These rocks will be your friend. Use them as platforms. Also, I'm switching to Blinky here. Because I want the power extension. I might as well go ahead and show what he can do. He does this little downward arcing shot that can be really, really useful. And he also has that jetpack. But again, you want to fully power it up before you really start making use of it. Had I picked it up with Bucky, it would not have increased his power meter any more than it already has. It's already a maximum. So push this here. Push this down here. Those spikes do kill you. Those are instant death. And we want to get up here first and then push the lower one. Now we don't push these into the lava. We use these as a stepping stone to not only take out these toads, but also to get to where we need to go. So make sure you don't push them off the edge. I off-screened them. Cool. I'm probably going to die trying to show this off, but I'm going to show it off anyway. You want to get this just toast to the ed enough to the edge. And then you want to power jump with Bucky there to grab the one up. And I managed to pull that off. Excellent. I have nine lives now, which are all probably going to be wasted on Act 3. It's a quick man style area. Now here you move right. And wow, I took too much time on that area, but... You're probably going to lose a lot of lives here. Thankfully, if you have to continue, you do continue all the way from the beginning here. And I should have like just moved to the left as soon as I was able to drop. And I hesitated there, and that also cost me. This area takes a lot of trial and error. You don't even know. Until you've actually played this section yourself. Really? As I was saying, this area takes more trial and error than you could possibly imagine. Drop to the go to the left as soon as you drop there. Sheesh. And I hesitated there and I would have died anyway. I should have just stood there. It's kind of easy to forget where you are. This area is pretty tough to memorize. And this can give even the better Bucky O'Hare players out there quite a bit of trouble. If this keeps up, I may have to show, show off what happens if you die. Or lose all your lives. I did that, seriously. But as I say, if I, this keeps up, I'm going to have to show off what would you have to go through every time you lose all your lives.
good. I dropped down. Thankfully, this part is easy. I'm not grabbing the one up. If you can grab it, good for you, but I'm not even going to put myself through that. And it's a good thing I switched to Blinky because I wanted to make sure that I got it with Blinky before I dropped down there. Also, those little arcs of lava there that kind of remind you of Gradius. They probably do come from Gradius, another great Konami game. Those things do a lot of damage. Those things will take off a third of a fully extended life bar. Thankfully, you can duck under them on those platforms that they seem to sail over. Which is always a good thing. You just want to be careful as you do all this. Like so. Wow. Hit this guy with Blinky here. I'm going to duck down. Ow. Okay, so a fixed and not a third like I originally thought. And we just have a short section here where you can just shoot some toads if you need some points for an extra life or something. Is there any? There's nothing else over here. That is so odd. Well, I guess you can go here to shoot toads. This part here, kind of a little bit crazy. You definitely don't want to touch those drills that are moving back and forth on the ends. Because those things are instant death. Sometimes jumping from one level to another can be tough, but persevere. You will make it eventually. Hopefully. And if you can shoot any toads down, do so. They're only worth 100 points, but every little bit helps in in this game, and I can't believe I'm sounding like Scooby-Doo now. At least you can scroll downwards. This would be even worse if this was if everything below you suddenly became a bombless pit as you were doing this. And I guess I could get that health, why not? Since the game is suddenly allowing me to do so. Sometimes you can get it, sometimes you can't. I guess. But if you can get it, good for you. Refill any health that you might have lost. Even though it probably won't do much good. And when you get to the top here, just let the thing move you all the way to the right here. And I'm going to use my power-up jump just to be safe. And for these rocks, you don't need to jump. You just need to just walk on over. If you do the jump, you're going to die. So on those two rocks that just come one after the other like that, do yourself a favor, just walk to the right into the rock. You will stand on it. Don't worry. You know what? Let's be cheap jerks here and just... Extra life. It'll go really fine with the one I'm going to get right here. Thanks for shooting me. I really needed that. Oh, well, no harm, no foul. Again. Ugh. Really? I'm trying to show this off, game. Let's try this again. Let's show this off again. Hopefully we won't mess this up. Or you, I guess you can do that. Also be ready to attack that toad ahead of time. There we go. Now thankfully that rock will come back so we can get it. Now here there will be a big green ball. Do not let it hit you. That's how you get that, in case you need one for Bucky. And right here. Now the next rock to come down, that's the one we want to get on. Jump on the green ball. There's a piece, there's a P icon, I don't necessarily need it. There's a life extension. I'm not going to grab the power up, though I will get the one up. And be sure to jump off so that way 
you can get on solid ground. Now here is the boss. Really easy boss as far as the first four areas are concerned. You have this ball that bounces around. They have these lasers here. And I can't believe I one-cycled it. Eventually, that ball enemy will close up. And you will have to do a fully powered-up jump with Bucky in order to get over it. If it hits you on the way to the left or on the way back, you will die. It is insta-kill. And by beating the Red Planet, we get Dead Eye Duck. Dead Eye, here's a Toe Blaster which I just lifted from a Toad Arsenal. I just now realized that Bucky is speaking in this. It was no problem zapping around in this Toad... Rocket Pack. Okay, who's speaking here? I'm confused now. Maybe it was Bucky and they just kind of messed it up, I guess. Or maybe it is Deadeye the whole time. Zoom right over the toad walls. MNK23. Managed to get Blinky and Bucky powered up. And we have two more stages to cover, which I'll do in the next video. Join me next time where I do the blue planet and the yellow planet. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!